Hi everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Today I'm going to give you my top 12 fresh summer fragrances. So these are fragrances that are very leaning on the fresh side. Fragrances that have notes of bergamot, lemon, citrus, um, lime, lemon, type of base fragrance, including mint, that lean on the fresh side that people are going to like to smell in the air and maybe off of your skin and you might kind of some comments. In the summertime, it's very hot. Wherever you live around the world, you don't want to wear heavy, sticky, oud, patchouli type of fragrances. You want fragrances that are going to be calm, easy to wear. You can wear in a hot heat outside and people around you walk by you will enjoy the way you smell. You might garner a few compliments. Now these are my 12. If you have different fragrances that I talk about, please leave a list down below in the comment section. I'm very curious to try the fragrances out. There's only one fragrance I don't have that I feel like should be on the list, and that is from the house of Zerzhoff, and that's no other than Zerzhoff Neo. I don't have it, but I have another fragrance that's very close to that fragrance in this video as well. Number 12 fragrance is from the house of John Varbados. They have a lot of amazing fragrances, but this is no other than John Varbados Artisan. So this fragrance has notes of orange, um, orange blossom. Um, there's a lot of citrus notes in this fragrance here. It's very fresh, very clean, very soapy. This is a very clean, soapy base fragrance. You get this for around 25 to 40, maybe 50 bucks online. It's very clean and uplifting scent that you can pretty much apply crazy all over you. And you're gonna get maybe two, three hours on your skin, fresh and clean. Now, I did my review and I'll leave the link down below if you wanna check out my full review. But you know, over spray this, you're gonna get a couple hours on your skin. Now, this isn't a beast mode fragrance. This is not a longevity, amazing fragrance, but you're gonna get a couple hours with a fragrance. If you wanna reapply it, bring the bottle. It's not gonna break and you can just respray it after a couple hours on your skin. It's an amazing, fresh and clean, soapy scent that no one's gonna be offended by. You can literally rest the street, wear this fragrance to the mall, the shore, the beach, sporting events in the summertime, or just going outside in general, um, going to clubs, whatever. You're gonna smell fresh and clean wearing this fragrance here by the house of John Verbatos, and this is Artisan. Definitely check this fragrance out right here. 11 fragrance from the house of Zershoff. It's no other than Zershoff, and this is Renaissance 18. 61. A beautiful bottle presentation. Fragrance is amazing. This is another uh, nice, high quality niche fragrance from the house of Zerzhoff. I gave them a lot of crap at first um, because I thought the bottles were tacky, but after smelling the fragrances at Perfumology, definitely check out perfumology.com or the store. I'll leave a link down below. Um, reach out to the owner guy. He'll take care if you want to buy this bottle or samples. This fragrance smells amazing. Let me tell you some notes in this fragrance. We have notes of lemon. We have tangerine. Bergamot, Pettigrain, Mint, Lily of the Valley, Rose, Musk, Amber, uh, Virginia Cedar, and we have Patchouli. There's a lot of notes in this fragrance. What I got is fragrance is a very fresh and clean uplifting scent. You're definitely gonna get that lemon in the opening, you're gonna get the tangerine, you're gonna get that orange citrus type of feel with the Bergamot pop, uh, some beautiful Pettigrain. This is a nice fresh minty slash lemon fragrance. Now, later in the dry down in the mid, you get that Lily of the Valley and you get the rose, but this is overall a nice, fresh and clean type of a fragrance, a nice, long-lasting mint fragrance on top of that, which I love mint, from the house of Zerzhoff. And this is expensive, don't get it wrong. You have to definitely get yourself a sample, see if you like it, but I love this one on, this, on my skin. I'm getting great performance, well over eight hours, and pushes projection for the first two hours. Very strong. I'll leave links down below to all these fragrances so you can see reviews on them. But definitely check out Zerzhoff 1861. If you like lemon and mint, fresh and clean fragrances, you'll love this for the summertime. Number 10 fragrance from the house of Navitus Parfum, and this is Navis. So this fragrance was created and the brand, um, the co-creator is Steven from the channel Red Alessa. I'll leave his channel down below. Definitely check out his channel and definitely subscribe. This is his creation of this fragrance here, and he has a bunch of other fragrances from the Navitus lineup. This is one of my favorites. This one and the other one is Oud Mineral. I think that's another amazing Oud, but some people don't like Oud fragrances. Nevertheless, this is a great citrus, fresh and clean type of scent. Let me tell you about the note break. The sprayers are awesome. Let me tell you about the note breakdown for Navis. This one here has notes of Neroli. We have bergamot, we have grapefruit, we have orange, we have juniper berries, we have pink berries, we have rose, amber, jasmine, vetiver, musk, cedar. There's a lot of notes in this fragrance here. 
at the end of the day, this is a very fresh and clean up lifting scent. You're gonna get the grapefruit, the lemon. It's a fresh and clean, if you wanna call it shower jelly type of fragrance, I can see that. But this is overall a great signature fresh and clean scent for anybody. You can wear it all year round, not just for the summer, but this is a great summer banger because it's fresh and it's clean. It's not gonna offend anybody. Especially in the hot weather, you wanna wear fragrances that you're not gonna get that look like double take, like why are you wearing that ugly fragrance or you smell horrible kind of look. You know you're gonna smell great wearing this fresh and clean, and you're probably gonna garner a few comments wearing this fragrance or any other fragrance on this list, but definitely check this fragrance out, out by the house of Navitus, and this is Navis. I'll leave a link down below where you can check out the full review on this fragrance as well. Number nine fragrance is from the house of Creed. I had to put a Creed fragrance in here, and this is one of my favorite besides Viking. If I didn't have Viking, I would wear this one. And this is Aventus Cologne. So let me tell you about the note breakdown in this fragrance. So sprayers are awesome. Only have a little bit less, which is sad, but nevertheless, this is Creed Aventus Cologne. We have notes of mandarin orange. We have ginger, we have basil rose. Uh, we have pink pepper. We have Indian cedar wood. We have patchouli, vetiver. Tonka bean, musk, birch, and cyrax. This is a great citrus fragrance. It's fresh and clean. If you like Creta Ventus, you know, that one, the black bottle, you're gonna like this fragrance here. This one is more fresher. What I mean by that is the original Creta Ventus um, has that birchy feel, has the pineapple in it, or you get fruity vibes in the fragrance, or smoky feel. This one here, there's no smokiness, there's no pineapple, but you do pick up a pineapple feel when you spray this fragrance on your skin or in the air. This is a great fresh and clean, citrus-based Creta Ventus fragrance to wear any time of year. So if you like Aventus, you're definitely gonna like this one here. Performance isn't better than the original Creed Aventus on my skin. Here I'm only getting about five to six hours, um, but it pushes for the first hour, hour to hour and a half. You're definitely gonna get noticed wearing this one. Definitely check this one out if you want a, a better version instead of the Creed Aventus, of a better, more fresher take, not smoky, not birchy feel, and there's not crazy batches. There's only two batches in this right here. Check out Creed Aventus Cologne. Number eight fragrance is from the house of Perfumes of Marler, or I like to call them PDM. There's no other than a fragrance that came out in 2020. This is Perfumes of Marley Greenly. So this fragrance here, I love the beautiful bottle presentation. I bought this fragrance at Perfumology. Um, definitely go there, check out. They have a lot of beautiful niche fragrance, high-end indie fragrances, and you can buy samples of majority fragrances there for about eight to 15, 16 dollars, maybe 20 dollars, depending on the brand and the size, but definitely get yourself a sample of this one. No breakdown. So we have notes of green apple, we have uh, bergamot, mandarin orange, cashmere, pettigrain, pimento rose, pimento rose, we have cedar, we have violet, we have oak moss, musk, and amber wood. It's a beautiful fragrance. I love the sprayers, look at the sprayers. Shoots out a lot of mist. This one is great. It's very fresh in the opening. You definitely get that green, they get that apple feel in the opening, but after that, it opens up into that fresh bergamot, citrus, orange opening pop. Very leaning on the fresh side. There is a lot of cedar in this fragrance. There is some cashmere in as well. Um, overall, this is a great fragrance for any type of year, not just for summer, but spring. You can wear it in the fall and winter as well because this is a nice fresh fragrance. And I feel like there's an embroxen feel in this fragrance that keeps this fragrance pushing and pushing. My skin, I get about seven to eight hours. So rest assured, if you get seven hours with a fragrance, you're good to go. I'm talking, if you're really crazy about a fragrance you want to last longer, Get a, get a small travel atomizer and reapply it after seven hours. So you'll get another seven or eight hours on your skin, but seven hours is a great fragrance to wear to work, date night, casual, you're good to go. At the se by seven hours of the day, you're pretty much probably tired, you wanna go home, relax, put another fragrance on. You don't need a 16, 20 hour long fragrance. Unless you really don't wanna take a shower, or you really don't care about other people, you know, you just wanna, you, just, you care about yourself. This is a great fragrance for fresh and clean fragrance. Definitely check this out by the House of Performance of Marley. This is my second favorite. I love Leighton. Uh, my girlfriend loves Leighton. I love Leighton Exclusive, and I do love Performance of Marley Greenly, and I do like Performance of Marley uh, Selly. That's the mint base one. So definitely check out the whole lineup. This is a stellar fragrance, and performance is great, and projection longevity is great. Definitely check this out by the House of PDM. This is Performance of Marley Greenly. Number seven fragrance is from the House of Nelson and Wilson. This fragrance is no other than Bonavir. So this fragrance is basically created by Mr. Smelly. He's a YouTuber on 
uh, YouTube. I'll leave his channel down below and definitely check out Sean's amazing content. He likes more barbershop fougere type of fragrances, classy fragrances like Dior Homme, um, uh, Dior Eau Sauvage, stuff like that. This fragrance smells amazing. I have to say, I do like the original one a lot more, but this is a great um, fresh and clean fragrance slash barbershop fragrance any man could wear this for. Let me tell you about the note breakdown. We have bay leaf, lemon, we have basil, lemongrass, lime, orange, orange mandarin, clove, gin, pepper, watermelon, uh, Asian vetiver, patchouli, cedarwood, and oak moss. I love this bottle presentation. It's beautiful. Now, I didn't use up this much juice. I gave a couple samples to some friends that smelled this off me at work and when I went out to stores and I made them a sample. But I love this one. This one smells amazing. This is something about this fragrance is it's um, very fresh and clean in the opening. This fragrance is something that I would see myself wearing casual to work, um, going on dates with my girlfriend. This fragrance will not offend anybody. It's nice, it's easy. I like that little bit of a nice gin and tonic type feel in this fragrance here. I do get the lemon, I get this grassy feel in the fragrance as well. And that orange mandarin in the opening is very fresh and clean, uplifting scent. I have not found anyone that, dis that did not like this fragrance. They either liked it or they loved it or they wanted to buy themselves a bottle. This is a great fragrance for the spring and summer, but you can wear this all year round. Performance is pretty good. It's not better than the original Pour Homme, but this is really good. I'll leave my video down below so you can see the fruit. I don't want to review it. And I don't want to ruin this video here, but I love this one. Definitely check out Mr. Smelly's fragrance. This is Nawson and Wilson. This is Bon Iver. Number six fragrance is from the house of Ledger Chandruvet, and this is Citrus Bubble. So this fragrance you can pick up at Perfumology. This is an amazing citrus fragrance. Let me tell you about the note breakdown. So we have notes of lemon, we have lime, orange, galbanum, pedigree, we have clove, uh, geranium, cinnamon, black pepper, uh, vanilla, and musk. This is a great fragrance. And what I mean by that is sprayers are awesome. This one here. It's very fresh with the citrus, um, the lemon, the orange. This gives off a very fresh and clean uplifting scent. A little bit of sweetness in the fragrance as well, which comes from the cinnamon. And I know there, I think there's a tangerine note as well in this fragrance. So it gives it a fresh um, citrus, kind of sweet with the cinnamon, the tangerine in the fragrance here. This is a, a great fragrance. If you don't want a basic citrus fragrance, like some fragrances are just fresh, this has a little bit of a twist where it's fresh and it's sweet. And this is great for the hotter months because the sweetness is there, but it's not heavily in your face where you get annoyed with it. It's just like, it's in the background with the freshness in the forefront. So this is a perfect scent to wear. And I got about six hours on my skin wearing this one here. It's great, projection pushes the first hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending on your skin chemistry, keep that in mind. But this is great, a great uh, fragrance to wear any time of year. And people are gonna give you positive feedback. They're gonna ask what you're wearing. And you gotta make sure you're, you say the name or show them the picture because they're not gonna know what this fragrance is. You can't pick this up at Macy's or Sephora. This is pretty much exclusively on their website um, and at perfumology.com and luckyscent.com. I'll leave the links down below. But definitely check out Ledger Chan Truvet and this is Citra bubbly. I think you're going to enjoy this one a lot. We're getting down to the wire. My number five fragrance on the list is a banger. I like it a lot. It doesn't perform the best. I know people complain about it. It's from the house of Roja. This is Roja Parfum and this is Elysium. Here's the cologne version. They do have the another version that came out before this one. Um, that one performs amazing, but this is the cologne version. A little bit more cheaper, still expensive. I love the beautiful bottle presentation. This one here, Oh man, it smells so good. This is another fresh fragrance. Let me go over note breakdowns. It's pretty long, so please bear with me. We have grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, lime, thyme, gabalum. We have arthnesium. We have vetiver, juniper berries, black currant. We have apple, pink pepper, cedar, rose, jasmine. Uh, we have uh, Lily of Valley, Amber Grease, Leather, Vanilla, Benzoin, and Latham. A lot of notes, so I apologize about that. But nevertheless, this is a freshie, and it's great. People do complain that it doesn't perform amazing. I get about five or six hours. It pushes for the first hour and a half on my skin. Now, if you like Creed Aventus, you're going to like this fragrance here. I would prefer wearing this over Creed Aventus. That's just me personally, just because my girlfriend likes this one on my skin a little bit better than Creed Aventus. But that's just how I feel about it. But nevertheless, check out this and a vintage. You see which one you like more. I like this one for, for the price tag, $2.90. It can be a lot, yes. Definitely get yourself a sample at Perfumology and see if you like it. When you buy a fragrance that you love, 
you're happy with. You don't have to worry about the price tag because once you buy the fragrance, you don't want another fragrance. If you're not a fragrance reviewer, you buy yourself one or two bottles of a fragrance that you love, you're good to go. And when they run out, maybe buy a different fragrance or rebuy the same fragrance. But at the end of the day, this is a nice fresh and clean lemon, fresh, clean citrus bergamot fragrance that most people out around me likes this fragrance a lot and would like to buy it, but they do say the price tag is a little steep, but definitely do your research. You could probably find at discounters, you know, knowing people and stuff like that. Do the Facebook group if you're on the fragrance Facebook uh, groups, check out mine, it's Casual Fragrances. Nevertheless, this fragrance is great if you're looking for something fresh and clean, upscale, you can dress this up or dress it down. A great signature scent by the House of Rosia. And this is Rosia Parfum Cologne, this is Elysium. I think you're gonna enjoy this fragrance right here. Fourth fragrance is from the house of Christian Dior. You guys know how I feel about Christian Dior fragrances. My favorite designer house, maybe my fanboy in me, whatever you want to call it. This fragrance I talked about so many times on my channel. I try not to talk about it too much because people do get annoyed of it. Nevertheless, this is Dior Sauvage EDT. So this fragrance here came out in 2015. It has notes of bergamot, pepper, we have Sichuan pepper, lavender, pink pepper, lavender, patchouli, geranium, elamine, ambroxan, cedar, and latham. This is, I gotta tell you something. I know people complain about this fragrance so much, but like I said before, and I'll say it again, it's a fresh and clean fragrance. You're gonna get good performance with the fragrance here. People like this fragrance. They use Johnny Depp. He's been doing it for the last three years, and they have a new Dior Sauvage um, elixir coming out in a few days. And yes, I will be doing a review on that fragrance in a couple of days, so rest assured that video will be coming out on my channel. But I digress. At the end of the day, this is fresh and clean, and I wore the fragrance I met my girlfriend almost four years ago. I'm so happy. She likes it, people around her like it, and it's a stellar fragrance, and this fragrance means a lot to me than most people because it tells a story about how I met my girlfriend. So at the end of the day, me and her are both fans of Dior Sauvage. We're both great fans of Dior fragrances in general, and this is a stellar fragrance. If you want a fresh and clean fragrance, you want a fragrance you have to think hard about. You grab it, spray it, and go out the, out the door. Two, three, two or three sprays, you're good to go, and it's gonna perform. I will definitely buy a newer batch and see if performance is different. A subscriber did leave a comment saying it only got seven hours. Um, all I gotta say is that if you're getting seven hours with Dior Sauvage, that's great. If you get more, that's awesome. Seven hours, a whole day is almost gone. You don't really need it eight or 10 hours unless you really, really want a fragrance to last and last, then reapply it again. But seven hours is enough with Dior Sauvage EDT. Check out the EDP and the Parfum if you feel like you wanna go a step more. Nevertheless, I love this one. Definitely check out Dior Sauvage if you want a fresh and clean fragrance, a dumb reach fragrance, a shower gelish fragrance that people talk about in the community. It does its job and it's around 80 bucks for a six, for a 60 mil bottle. So definitely check out Dior Sauvage EDT. For three fragrances from the house of Louis Vuitton. You guys probably saw my video before this, but I'll leave it down in the cards. It is Louis Vuitton. This is Afternoon Swim. So this one here, amazing fragrance. Sprayers are awesome. I love the magnetic cap. This one here has notes of bergamot, mandarin, orange, and we have ginger and ambergris. This fragrance here is a great quality, fresh and clean, uplifting scent. Now, this doesn't perform the best, which I talked about in the full review. I'll leave that card up here, but it's a fresh and clean fragrance for the summertime. Now, you don't need to have a beast mode summer fragrance, because you don't want to be the Mr. Cologne guy at the boardwalk, at the beach, out in public. You want to smell nice and clean. You want people to smell you, but you don't want to be overly smelled. Scent, which I'm trying to say is you don't want your fragrance to be smelled first before they see the person. And that does get annoying because I've seen people do that and it just blows my mind. So this fragrance is nice, it's clean, it's fresh, it's up to the, one of the best citruses out there at the market. I just wish the performance would match the price tag of this fragrance here, because yes, it's $265 for a 100 ml bottle. It is expensive. But people will buy Creative Ventus for $300 and the performance isn't great neither. So let's just keep it real here. You're gonna spend $300, pick which one you like better because they're both great fragrances, but I prefer this over Creative Ventus. That's just me personally, but by all means, do what you want to do, but definitely check this one out here and check out um, Louis Vuitton, Sung Song and Cactus Garden. Um, Cactus Garden is kind of green, earthy, like fresh fragrance, but I don't too much like it. And Sung Song is more on the Neroli side if you like, like Tom Ford Neroli Portofino or 4711, you're gonna like that as well. But this here, check out Afternoon Swim. It's fresh, clean, mandarin, orange. 
you're gonna enjoy this fragrance by the house of Louis Vuitton. My number two fragrance is from the house of Chanel. Chanel, this is from their less exclusive line. So they have a bunch of less exclusive fragrances that you pretty much can only buy at the Chanel Boutique, I think, or at Saks. They carry the lineup too as well. Nevertheless, this is Chanel less exclusive, and this is Eau de Cologne. So this one here has notes of lemon. We have bergamot, we have citrus notes, we have green notes, neroli, pedigree, spicy notes, musk, and tonka bean. I love the magnetic cap. I think that's a beautiful touch with a fragrance. My bottle's almost gone here. I gave a couple samples to people I know when they smelled off my skin, they loved it. So I was nice enough to give them a little sample of it, a little two, three mil, and now I'm probably going to buy a big 200 mil bottle. So this bottle right here is going to run you about 175 for a 75 mil and a 200 mil is going to run you $300. So when you spray this fragrance, the sprayers are amazing. It's fresh. A very fresh and clean citrus fragrance. You're going to smell this on a test strip or on your skin and be like, I want to buy it. You're not even going to hesitate. But please keep in mind, this is going to be that five to six hour range fragrance because it's all fresh notes. Every note in here is pretty much fresh. You got the lemon, you got the bergamot, you got the citrus, you got the green notes. These are all fresh notes and they're going to die quickly on your skin, but they smell amazing. This is a fragrance that you can reapply after a couple hours and just spray it. And you're going to love the way you smell. People aren't even going to love it. I know so many people that, that want to buy a bottle of this, but they said if it wasn't for the $175 price tag, it's too much. And I get it. You know, Chanel fragrances are expensive. They don't hit discounters at all. Sometimes they have little promotions here, but you're going to pay full retail for this fragrance here. You're going to love this fragrance when you spray it on your skin. If you like citrus, fresh, and clean fragrances, you are going to love this fragrance. And I highly suggest you buy the bigger uh, $300 um, bottle that's a 200 ml because you're going to go through a lot of juice because you're going to have to do about five to six sprays every day to smell this fragrance. But I love this one a lot and I give it my number two because it's that good of a fragrance. When you smell this, you are going to really fall in love if you like citrus based fragrances. So check out Chanel um, Eau de Cologne. This is less exclusive by Chanel. Number one fragrance. Man, this fragrance is amazing. I picked it up the day after my birthday. I got it customized with my name on it. I love the fragrance. Um, shout out to Steve Fred Lessons for recommending this fragrance to me to try out. I love it head over heels. This is by the House of Lella Bow and this is Bergamot 22. This is the best citrus fragrance on the planet. Besides the one I don't have, which I talked about earlier was Zerzhoff um, Neo. That's fresh and clean as well. The same type of fragrance. This one here is a 2006 fragrance that came out. I love the presentation. Um, I love the bottle, everything itself. The juice is amazing. Oh my God. This is just bergamot in a bottle. It's fresh, it's clean. Let me go over some of those. We have bergamot, which is the name of it, bergamot 22. We have vetiver, we have grapefruit, orange blossom, pedigree, musk, cedar, vanilla, and amber. This is a citrus bomb fragrance. This is bergamot at its best, overload, beast mode, whatever you want to call it. This is amazing. If you just want a fresh and clean fragrance, for the summertime, or to wear all year round, this is a perfect scent. Now it is expensive, this was 192 for a 50 ml bottle. You can get 100 ml, I think it's going to run you almost $300, but I'm gonna tell you something. If you want a fresh and clean fragrance, a signature scent, you don't want a lot of other crazy fragrances with different notes, you're gonna love this if you just wanna smell fresh and clean throughout the whole year of 12 months or 365 days a year, you're gonna love wearing this fragrance here. This is a complicated fragrance, it's fresh, it's clean. Now, some people might think it's not amazing because it's just fresh and clean, but a lot of people just want fresh and clean fragrances for their man or girl or significant other. This is a perfect fragrance. I'm getting about six hours on my skin. It pushes for the first hour and a half to two hours. You're good to go. You wanna reapply this, you can. This is not gonna offend anybody. You can overspray this fragrance and you're not gonna offend anybody. Every time I wear this fragrance, somebody always says, oh man, you smell good today. What is that fragrance? They always wanna know what it is because they said they haven't smelled this type of freshness in a fragrance before. So definitely check out Bergamot 22 by Le Labo. You both smell different because not everywhere in the world has a Le Labo shop. I love this one a lot by the house of Lilla Bow, and this is Bergamot 22. I wish I bought a bigger bottle, but nevertheless, I'm going to refill this when I'm done. You definitely can refill your bottles. You got to pay for it, but you can refill your bottles when they're done. Before I watch another fragrance video, um, what are your favorite summer fresh fragrances? Leave a comment down below, whether it's niche, indie, designer, whatever, leave your comment down below. If you like this video, make sure you like the video. Make sure you click that red subscribe button down below. I really appreciate that. And click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. I'm almost at 8,000, so I'm definitely gonna do a giveaway very soon. So if you are new, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next video. Be safe out there. Peace.